Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here. Welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. And please subscribe to the channel so I can create more content for you guys. I actually had no idea that a lot of people follow me because they want to see more videos in JS. And I realized this when one of my subscribers commented on one of my videos letting me know that. So I was like, oh, like I haven't been creating JS videos. And I was just doing more Python videos because I thought there was more demand for it. But honestly, I could do videos in both if you guys want. So let me know in the comments down below. And let's get started with today's lead code question plus one. Okay. Let's go ahead and understand the question. So in the question, we're given a um, non-empty list of digits. And what we need to do is we just need to add one to um, the last element of the digit. But if that number is um, nine, we will have uh, overflow, right? So we need to add that carryover one to the number before it. So that's essentially what the question is asking. And there are many ways to solve it, but I tried to solve it in the most like easy to understand way. So let's go ahead and look at the solution and walk through the problem. Okay, so there are two main cases that we need to consider here. And the first case is if our um, addition gives us a 10, right? So if I add one to the last number, which is this position, and if that sum gives me um, 10, right? We need to do something. We need to take this plus one and then keep moving backwards, right? And keep adding that one. And what we need to do is if the last digit is still at one, so this the result would be 100 for this. So if this is still giving me a zero, then we need to go ahead and add this one to the front. So that is the first case. And then the second case is a case where let's say the last number gave us a carry of one, right? So this is 10, nine plus one is 10, and then this gave us four. We can just return this result prematurely because we don't need to, we don't need to consider these two numbers. All we need to do is just return it whenever we don't have a case of uh, carry. So I hope that helps you understand how we're moving backwards. So the two cases are if the sum is equal to 10 or it's less than 10, right? So anything here, so three plus one, four is less than 10. So we don't need to um, really uh, do anything. So we, we will just return our in place changes that we made. So this is the part we changed because we moved backward. And this is the part we'll just leave as it is and just return. Um, and for the first case, if we need to add something to the beginning, we will go ahead and insert a one because we know it's always going to be one. Um, otherwise, we will just keep going and making sure that all the carry-ons um, have been changed to zero. So if we see a 10, we change that number in place to a zero and then carry one and then add it again. Okay. So I hope this helps you understand how we're going to solve the problem. Okay. So our strategy is to start at the last element here. So if we're given this list, we're going to add one to nine. And so that sum is equal to 10, right? So what we do is we just replace this digit with a zero. So we're going to say um, digits at that position is going to be equal to zero because we know um, we're going to carry one. So that's why the zero is there. So then we again add this one to the three and that's four, right? So that's actually less than 10. So what we can do is we just return the rest of the items that we haven't touched. So we're doing an in place change here. And this is the answer. That's what we're looking for. So we're returning prematurely. It's going to become more clear when we write the code. So let's go ahead and dive into the code. Awesome. So I'm back in the code. And the first thing we want to do is iterate through the array backwards, right? So I'm going to write my for loop for that. So we can say for let i equals um, digits dot length minus one. And the reason we're doing minus one is because we're starting our indexing at zero. Um, and then so we have and then i is going to be less than i is going to be uh, greater than or equal to zero and we'll stop at zero. So we're going from zero. Uh, we're going from the last digit all the way to index zero. Um, and then we're just going to do I minus minus. Okay, awesome. And now what we're going to do is just increment that last digit. So we are already at the last element, right? So the iteration will start from this spot. So we are going to say digits add that index I plus plus. Okay, so we just added that. And now what we need to check is if it is less than 10 or not. Right. So if it's less than 10, like in this case, um, then we can just go ahead and return this list because we're doing an in place um, transformation. Right. So that's why we can go ahead and do that. So let me write the if statement if um, digits. I is less than 10. Then we can just go ahead and return the digits array. And this is because um, how we talked about re just returning the list. Uh, prematurely because we no longer need to iterate over any of these items since we've already added one. 
right? So else, what we want to do is handle the case if we have like a um, like a four nine, right? Sorry, four nine. Um, so in this case, we want to uh, add, we want to replace this nine with a zero, and then add the one um, over in the previous. So what we can do is we can say that digits at the index i equals zero. So we have marked it zero. Um, and then what will happen in the next iteration is this four will get incremented to five and five will be less than 10. So it's just gonna return um, 50. So it's gonna return digits here, right? So that's why we need to have this also. And then if we're done with the list um, and if we have a case like nine nine where we need to um, add a one before it. So we want to translate this to hundred, right? So if I just leave it like this, it's just gonna print like zero, zero, but we need to have that additional one before. So to do this, uh, what we can do is we'll take our digits array and we'll say digits dot um, unshift. So this is how you can add um, something to the front of the list in JavaScript and we will say unshift one. So we're just saying, hey, go ahead and put this one in front of these two zeros. Okay, and then the last thing we wanna do is just return our digits. Okay, so this looks good. Okay, let me run code. Okay, yeah, awesome. So this case works, that's great. Um, I will go ahead and submit. Okay, awesome, yay, it works.